JacquelineJosh.com brings you the part 1 of the current affairs bulletin of the week, September 8th to September 14th, which will be of immense help in your route to preparation. Current affairs headlines BSF integration with BISAG project inaugurated at Bhuj in Gujarat. Union government decided to wind up HMT watches. Strategic Force Command of India successfully test-fired Agni-1 missile. Union government extended deadline for employees to file details of assets. MOU signed between Navadco and NBCC for the development of work properties. Current affairs in detail. BSF integration with BISAG project inaugurated at Bhuj, Gujarat. The project was inaugurated by Union Minister for Home Affairs, Rajnath Singh. The project will help address the need for dedicated encrypted channel for paramilitary forces. Bhaskaracharya Institute for Space Applications and Geoinformatics is a state-level nodal agency of Gujarat. BISAG facilitates the use of spatial and geospatial technologies for planning and development activities. Union government decided to wind up HMT watches. The Board of Reconstruction of Public Sector Enterprises recommended closing the unit. The unit has been incurring losses since 2000. HMT Watchers is a wholly owned subsidiary of Hindustan Machines Tools Limited. HMT Limited was set up at Bangalore in 1961 in collaboration with Japan Citizen Watch. In 2000, HMT Watch Business Group was restructured as HMT Watches Limited. Strategic Force Command of India successfully test-fired Agni-1 missile. It was test-fired as a routine exercise to consolidate operational readiness. The missile zeroed in on the pre-designated target in the Bay of Bengal with two-digit accuracy. Agni-1 is a short to medium-range ballistic missile developed by DRDO. It was developed under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program. It's a single-stage solid-fuel road and rail mobile medium-range ballistic missile. Union government extended deadline for employees to file details of assets. The deadline has been extended till 31st December 2014. The previous date for filing the details was 15 September 2014. The filing of the asset details has been mandatory under Lokpal and Lokayuktas Act 2013. Employees with an asset value of 2 lakh rupees are exempt from furnishing information. MOU signed between Navadco and NBCC for the development of work properties. Initially, properties that are lying vacant would be taken up for easy and early development. The largest number of WAQF properties in the world is in India. The National Work Development Corporation was established in January 2014. It was established on the recommendation of Sachar Committee. Navadco has an authorized share capital of 500 crore rupees and paid up capital of 100 crore rupees. For more on current affairs, log on to jagranjosh.com.